Hello again, and welcome back to Operations Management. In this session, we're going to be continuing our discussion of inventory. And in this one in particular, it will be about the reorder point. Previously, with the economic order quantity, we've determined how much we place in terms of our order for inventory. That's our Q, our quantity for our inventory. But we're trying to figure out when we actually place the order. This is the reorder point. So when you place an order, they usually have an amount of time it takes from the time you place the order and the time it's received. That's known as the lead time. And the amount of inventory that you use during that lead time is known as the lead time demand, frequently abbreviated as LTD. And in very simple situations, the reorder point is just equal to the LTD, which is the amount that we use from the time we place the order to the time it's received. If we look at it graphically, we notice Q is the amount that we're actually ordering. Now down at the bottom of the graph is the lead time. We've placed the order at some point T, and then it's going to arrive some time later. The amount of inventory that we use during that lead time is our lead time demand, and that's what equals the reorder point. Very simple. But what happens if the demand varies, or the lead time varies, or both the demand and the lead time varies? In those cases, we usually want to keep extra inventory on hand, and that's known as safety stock. So the reorder point is no longer just the lead time demand, it's the lead time demand plus the safety stock. If we look at that graphically, the, the chart looks a little bit different. Instead of a nice smooth demand, it, it wiggles, it varies, because we're not exactly sure how much is going to be used at any given point. We still have a lead time, so we have an expected lead time demand how much we think we're going to use during that period of placing the order and it's being received. But notice we don't let it go all the way down to zero. Instead, we have that yellow line there, and that's known as the safety stock. So when we add the safety stock with the expected lead time demand, now we have a different reorder point. It's greater than just the expected lead time demand, it's equal to the lead time demand plus the safety stock. So in very simple situations, the reorder point is the lead time demand, but if there's some sort of variation in the demand or the lead time, we're adding in safety stock to the lead time demand to get to that reorder point. Now the next question, of course, is how do we know how much safety stock to keep? Well, that's what we're going to do in the next session. I'll see you then.